you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, am I in the twilight zone? Is North Carolina really going to hire Bill Belichick? Let, let's just set the stage for that. Bill Belichick's a guy that has been turned down by anyone dumb enough to answer his phone call. Bill Belichick got turned down by the Panthers. By the Panthers. That would be like being turned down by one of these women of the night lot lizards off Fulton Industrial Boulevard. Uh, if you don't know about that, uh, yeah, go off Fulton Industrial Boulevard uh, to one of the most terrifying areas in the state of Georgia. Man's been turned down by everybody that was dumb enough to answer his call. Which um, probably tells you all you need to know about Bill Belichick. Uh, what was the owner for New England? Kraft, evidently, when uh, Atlanta interviewed him, Kraft talked to Arthur Blank and was just like, look, dude. We're all billionaires. We're all in this together. Don't hire that guy. That guy's a train wreck. Because Bill Belichick's a guy that you have to give carte blanche just total and utter control of your program. So North Carolina, um, if you do hire this guy, uh, Bubba Cunningham ain't going to have nothing to do as far as football is concerned. He's going to have to give all of that um, to Bill Belichick. And what this tells me about North Carolina is that they don't care about football. They just flat out do not care about football, which is fitting because no one else cares about North Carolina football either, right? Um, this guy has been like just the most toxic name. I mean, there's a reason no one, no one has anything good to say about this guy. No one. Um, gives a 400 page, like, here's my 400 page coaching Bible pamphlet, which is not a, a manual as much as it is a manifesto of all of his demands that he's making. One of which includes hiring his son, who's I think currently the DC at Washington, or he's on staff at Washington. Uh, yeah. Um, you have to hire me and you have to hire my son after I leave. So not only do you have to hire me, I get to pick the next guy you hire when I'm gone. That's insanity. And we're setting aside the fact, one, the guy has never coached college football. I think someone was saying Navy, I looked it up. His dad coached at Navy and he ran around with his teddy bear uh, way back in the day. So if you want to count that as coaching in college football, uh, then the last time he coached in college football, um, Kennedy was talking about maybe possibly going to the moon one day. Wasn't Mac Brown too old though? Mac Brown 73, this guy 72. The and I I hear people saying, well that oh that doesn't matter if you're a North Carolina fan. That doesn't matter. I don't care how old he is. This is a young man's game coaching college football today. It is a 24-7, 365 job. You got we look, I talked about in the portal yesterday. You got to recruit year round. You've got to recruit your own roster year round. You have to also um, negotiate contracts or be aware of that. This is not, uh, I'll tell you why I say it's a young man's game. A lot of these coaches are bowing out, right? Kelly, all these, like, like they're stepping down um, to take easier jobs and go to the NFL. The, N the NFL is an easier coaching job as far as what is required of you than what is required of you in college football, setting aside the fact it is 150% the exception to the rule that someone makes a transition from college to NFL. It's even more the exception and rare that someone goes from the NFL to college. In fact, I cannot think of anyone that spent an entire 10 plus year career in the NFL being successful, came to college and was successful. Well, Nick Saban went from the NFL to college. Yeah, but he was a college coach. Name me the guy. Jim Harbaugh is probably the best thing. So one coach out of all the coaches in history have been able to go back and forth and have success at both levels. Ask yourself if you're a North Carolina fan. Does that make sense? Does it make sense also that no uh, – think about this. Let's say you were, you were hit up for a job. Hey, man, I really got to get a job. You interview at 500 places, only one calls you back. And 
When you answer that call, you start making demands of them because that's what Bill Belichick's doing. Does that sound like someone that's gonna be a good fit? This not only is gonna be the worst hire of this cycle, you mark my words. Just like I told you about Jeff Collins, which you can forget about him being on staff with Belichick. Those two guys couldn't be more diametrically opposed philosophically um, if, they, if they tried. But this is gonna be one of the worst head coaching hires in college football history. In history. In history. You're currently at 89th in recruiting. Your best recruit for North Carolina's last name is Butts. Um, and I couldn't think of a more fitting term for what's going to happen. You're probably not going to recruit markedly better than 89th. How do I know? Listen to anyone that's played for him. Julian Edelman, Tom Brady, Gronkowski were all asked, do you, how do you see, you know, Bill Belichick in recruiting? They all laughed. They all laughed. And for people that are laughing at me like, oh, well, you, you root for Georgia Tech. Who cares? You, you know, you ran the triple option. You don't care about football. As far as recruiting, Bill Belichick and Paul Johnson are hand in hand. This is this is a Bill Belichick recruiting pitch. Uh, get ready for it, North Carolina. Uh, I mean, come here or you don't. I mean, we don't really effing want you anyways. We could go get someone probably better than Foxborough, but sign if you want to. That's, what, that's his attitude. If he couldn't get along with grown men in the NFL, do you think he's going to get along with all the prima donnas of college football? It's going to be a disaster. And then you say, well, hold on a second. He knows X's and O's. He knows X's and O's, though. Uh, greatest NFL coach of all time, right? Fre Good buddies with Nick Saban. I wrote this down because I knew I was going to record this in the car. What's Bill, what, what is Bill Belichick's record with Tom Brady? It's 249 and 75. Do you know what his record without Tom Brady is? 83 and 104. After Tom Brady left, which Bill Belichick basically ran him off. I mean, it's well known now that they had major beef. He runs off the greatest quarterback of, of NFL history, immediately wins a Super Bowl with a team. When was the last time Tampa Bay won a Super Bowl? Had Tampa Bay ever won a Super Bowl? I don't know. I'm a college football fan. 29 and 39 after Tom Brady leaves. So the only shot y'all have of Bill Belichick working out is if Tom Brady somehow has three more years of eligibility you can get out of him and he come plays for Bill Belichick at North Carolina. Anything shy of that, it's over. It's over. Um, and I think North Carolina fans, if you're honest with yourselves, you're not excited about this. There's five other guys you'd rather have than Bill Belichick. Here's the other thing. Even if he does have success at, success at North Carolina, you're screwed because he's 14 wins away from being the winningest NFL coach of all time. So let's say he wins seven games next year and 10 games the year after. He's gone to the first NFL team that will hire him. He would be gone after year one if an NFL team would hire him. And here's the other thing. Um, talking with some North Carolina fans. My thing is, why are you not hiring Jamie Chadwell? Why are you not beating Jamie Chadwell's desk down? Oh, well, he had some NCAA violations and issues in the wake of leaving Coastal Carolina. You, you don't think Bill Belichick has a storied history of breaking the rules? Come on, man. Come on. They've literally named scandals after what happened in New England with this guy. Now, luckily, there are no rules in college football anymore, so that's probably uh, not going to matter. But um, this is going to be an absolute failure. The only thing that I'm pissed about is that the cowards that are the North Carolina Tar Heels dodges for four years. Isn't that interesting? We redo all the schedules. North Carolina and Miami end up dodging us over the next few years. Interesting. Um, it's not going to work out. If I had to guess, no, prepare yourselves for this. Did I? First of all, I have a 100% track record with North Carolina uh, head coaching predictions, or not head, uh, coaching predictions. I told you Jeff Collins wasn't going to work out. S makes history. 70 to 50, awful defense. 
Awful defenses. Defenses so bad that Mac Brown didn't even get to retire on his own terms. It's going to be worse under Bill Belichick. You're going to see... You're going to see seasons like Georgia Tech saw under Jeff Collins under Bill Belichick. It's going to be an absolute disaster. He's not going to be able to recruit. You're going to have record numbers of people hitting the portal after the first year. Uh, you might even have some kind of crazy scandal. The only good news for you is that how old is Bill Belichick's girlfriend, 23? Hell, she probably can – she's college age. He can just drop her off to class. Uh, and then, you know, go have a spitz or whatever geriatric people like him do and uh, coach your football team. So let me know what you guys think of this. I mean, the only correct answer is this is an awful idea. But if you are a North Carolina fan, I would like to know what you think because, look, Georgia Tech was going to hire Willie Fritz. Sea Dog and I both said, no, he's too old. College football is not uh, is a young man's game. We don't want this guy, and we've been proven right in that as well. So let me know what you guys think. Y'all have a good one.